Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Jedi Talk. I am your host, Brad Hughes. You can follow me on Instagram at Brad from Jedi Talk. You can also follow on Instagram. You can follow the show on Instagram as well at Jedi Talk Podcast. And joining me across from me, not like usual, the man, the myth, the legend, my brother, my bantha, mantha from another bantha. Is that what he says? Yeah. Uh, Evan T. Boucher, what's going on, brother? Hello there. Eh, nothing much. Nothing much. I backtracking a little bit to the episode from earlier this week. I think you're gonna be one of the f- people that like how I hung out on Batu more than a lot of people. You're gonna be the one of those guys that does the bounty hunter more than a lot of people. I hope so. I think you're gonna be. Like I had that a lot guy. of fun with it, man. It, I'm gonna do it a lot, but you're gonna bypass me. I'm pretty it's so sure. So fun. Once the sun gets out of the way. Like, I feel sunburned. Look at me. I feel like I look a little toasty. Yeah, I had some sun on my face from that day. I was only <sighs> was there for like three hours. But the per- and a downpour at the last two hours. That was some of the worst rain I've ever seen. I couldn't seen. see. I was, was walking insane. out in it and I couldn't see. I was see. driving in it. Yeah, you, we saw you drive past in, oh, in the did parking you? lot. Yeah. yeah, the entire parking lot was flooded. I had yep. the doors off on my Jeep, so yep. that was fantastic. Yep. But um, we haven't had to shower since. So, yeah, so it's I mean, been good. What? You know? Who, who, Just, what are you don't have to worry about it. Not in Florida. Not with all the sweatiness and grossness. Yeah. So, we decided to do a little bit of a different top 10 because we were talking about some stuff in the other episodes week. So, if you're going like, wait, I thought this was a, a Star Wars podcast. It is a Star Wars podcast, but sometimes Jeez. when Tom's not here or I'm not here or you're not here, we want to kind of yeah. deviate the top 10 list a little bit because there's th- times that I've listened to top 10s that I wasn't on and I was like, God, I wanted to bring this up and I didn't. Yeah. It's but not we, to say that I wouldn't want to know Tom's top 10 for today. But for the sure. ones it's we had picked for Star Wars, Star Wars I really heavy. wanted to know yeah, that. Yeah, correct. Like, I'd want to know Tom's thoughts on that. So, so today, you saw the title. as Top 10 Disney Films of All Time. Animated Disney Films of All Time. Yep. A uh, few rules. Can't be Pixar, even though Disney owns it. Can't be Star Wars, even though Disney owns it, because there is technically one future film that was theatrically released. True. It's a Star Wars Disney film. Clone Wars. It has to be not Pixar. It just has to be something that was not even necessarily theatrically released, but just has to be something that was produced by Disney and not a subsidiary. Well, Disney in the animation. Sense, in the sense of like no Pixar. Yeah. No other company could have produced it. It had to be something that No was, Illuminations. They don't yeah, own them yet, but whatever. Nothing like that. So, I mean, it can be something like you know, a direct-to-DVD thing. It can be anything like that, but it just can't be produced Cinderella by... Cinderella 3, A Stitch in Time. I mean, fuck, that was my number one. That was your... Mm, that was, number one. That was my number two. I don't remember two's on my list too. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, how many honorable mentions did you have? I could do fifty, but I didn't. I didn't. I do could any. do every other movie I I put didn't put on here could be yeah. an honorable mention, but technically yeah. I have three. What okay. do you have? I got none. None. Okay, I have three. So this is going to show you how heavy I'm swinging for the fences on this list because my my three honorable mentions are Treasure Planet. Oh, I think it is such an on my list fucking movie. It was so I hard not to it. put on it. I love it too. Oh. I love it. Um. I met Ben in Tomorrowland. Ben in, in no in, way. I have a picture. I, I will find. I it have and send a Ben action figure from McDonald's in my apartment Is right it now. Jack right. Hawkins, John Hawkins, Jim, ja- Jim, Jim Hawkins. Jim. I met Jim and Ben in Tomorrowland. Oh my gosh! I have a picture of it. You I mean have the thirty-year-old man playing a fifteen-year-old Jim Hawkins? Yeah, I was kind of nuts looking yeah. back on it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> ben, uh, voiced by Martin Short. Martin Short. Like, yeah. Come on. Of Epcot fame, of making of Canada me fame. fame, and making of me. <laughs> I love the old Canada film. I don't think I've ever seen it. The new ones, it's good. The new one's still good. I don't think I've the, seen it. I love the honestly old one. Honestly, I don't think the only, only World Showcase film I think I've ever seen is France. Did you see Norway's back when that was a thing? Maybe. I don't remember it. Okay. It wasn't that good. Yeah, it's just, they're just I haven't seen France or China yet. But I think I've seen China too, but I was really drunk when I did it, so I don't think it counts. <laughs> it counts. Um, then my other, second of three honorable mentions is The Lion King. What? And then my third Andrew honorable Andrew Poulter, mention, if you listen to the show, don't listen to this episode. <laughs> my third honorable mention is Tangled. Okay, that's I fair. I think it's such a great movie, but it just yep. doesn't quite make the list for me. And there's yeah. going to be, my number seven's going to piss some people off. Hmm. Uh, all right, so when we do the honorable mentions, we, the person who had the most goes first. Is that the rule? I haven't, I didn't know we had a rule. So There sure. is a rule. I forget what the oh. rule is. All right, that's news I'll to go me. first. Who okay. cares? I'm already talking. <laughs> my number 10 is Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Man. I think if you're a Disney fan, this has to be on your list somewhere. We're talking top 10 animated films of all time. Evan, is it on your list? It is. Okay, good. Mainly for the historical reasons. For historical reasons. reasons. Like the film I, itself is, is good. It's I think fine. it's good. Yeah. I think the animation holds up. Like, especially when you yeah. watch it like 4K or something when they've gone through and like re, you know, re, redone it and made it look really, really good. The yeah. animation is fluid. It's insane that that was their first feature animated film. Like That's insane. 
Uh, it just how looks much, so what was the crisp. Uh, over a million. Back right? back in back the in thirty seven. Well, thirty six. Thir- I think thirty five is when it started production. Yeah, I could be wrong on that. Um, but I mean, that's just nuts. I mean, they have like there's so many interesting stories of like. Walt having to get more financing from the Bank of America to come in and be like, "Hey, please come look," and like him acting out the movie, going like, "Trust me, this is going to work." Trust he me, trust me, trust me. Even had to act it out in the studio mm-hmm. to his in front of storyboards. Yeah, just be like, "Guys, this is going to work." work. Like, nobody believed him. So Insane. it's just, I just think it's a good movie too. Like, I think it's a, it's one of those movies that like I would love to do a, a show one day where we just talk about like the twenty movies you have to see before coming to. Disney World on a vacation, and if yeah. the Apple Dumpling Gang is on that list, <laughs> it's on that list because of Big Thunder Mountain. I haven't seen it in forever, but Such yes, a great movie. The Nuts is in it. What's the name of the second one? The Return or Rides oh Again? God. Apple yes, Dumpling Apple Gang Rides, Rides Again. again. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. Jesus Christ, Love that title. Uh, that's my number Man. ten for mostly historical reasons, but I do think that, I do think the film stands up on its own, and too. it holds up though. Like it's a great movie. It's, yeah, it's still a really good movie. It's a solid movie. It scares yeah. the shit out of kids, man. Yeah, it does. It's rough. It's, that was back when they like they weren't scared to do animation. You know that yeah. scared the shit out of everybody. Yeah, I mean she essentially dies. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, that whole cauldron scene is intense. I mean it's, the whole thing's great. That ride used to be intense, man. Like that cauldron it's, scene in the ride. It's still intense. Don't get. They, Have you seen they, the new one? I yes, haven't seen it I wrote myself. It. I wrote you wrote it. the new one when I, when I was there scary. in celebration. It's still oh, crazy. That's right. You went it's still, recently. It's still scary, dude. Like okay, cool. They, they said it was like updated. They yeah. updated it, but they still kept it okay, creepy. Good, I mean, it's good. still it's still scary. Don't get it twisted. They didn't make good. it family friendly. Because I missed that. Even though it terrified me as a kid, I still want to do that today. Where she turns around. Oh, yeah. it's terrifying. I love that. Like, yeah, it's terrifying. She, her back is to the car, and then she still turns there. around. I'm pretty sure that's still there. I think I saw it in the videos. I think I it's still there. I, so, yeah. I can't remember. Again, I drink a lot when I'm going to Disney. Uh, Who doesn't? <laughs> what's your number 10? Number 10, not theatrically released. It's the only one on my list. But oh, I have one on my list, too. For some reason, Disney acts like it doesn't exist. The Buzz Lightyear of Star Command movie. Oh, I thought this was going to be the same one on both of our lists. For some reason, it, it doesn't not. exist in Disney's eyes. The TV show that spun off from this movie also doesn't exist in Disney's eyes. Yeah, it's weird, right? Both should be on Disney Plus. Both should be, but they're not. They're not. It's and odd. Fr- even after watching Lightyear, which had its it, its problems, but you could say that still leads into that Buzz Lightyear Star Command movie. It still would make sense. So it's like, I don't know if that was their test of making Lightyear to be like, should we bring that old animated feature from the 2000s back? Maybe that was their test. So if so, it failed because it didn't make a lot of money. Still haven't seen that year yet. But I'll see what. Just wait for Disney Plus. Plus. That's yeah, next week like too. Weeks, August third. Right? Third, yeah, something yeah. like that. Yeah. All right, my number nine is Aladdin. Nice. That's uh, on my list. I love this movie. It is such a great animated film. Uh, the last songs from Howard Ashman. Mm. Um, I just think it's a great movie. It's it's yeah. one of those where like when I think of Disney animation, it's one of the ones that come to mind. Now I'm trying to do this list fairly quickly so we can have a shorter episode than normal. Yeah, because uh, I'm trying to get over Hollywood Studios. So if, I, I apologize if my reasonings aren't like super elaborate like they typically are on some of these things. But that's why I'm trying to brush through this. Yeah, that's um, fine. But I love that movie. I think it is. The music's great. Robin Williams is fucking iconic as it yeah, gets. I mean, that that's might the be, majority why it's on my list. You know what's odd? That might be his defining role. That might be his defining role. I mean, like, yeah, I think you're right. It's got it's the essence of him. He can yeah. sing, which is hilarious. Who thought he could sing like that? I mean, yeah, it's he not can do like, impressions. Like he's got it all in that movie. It's, it's brilliant. Yeah. But well, I guess we'll talk about it a little more when he you gets get emotional to in that movie. So yeah, yeah we'll get there. Yeah. It's such a great movie. What's number your number nine? nine was was your number ten? Snow White. Perfect. All the same reasons. Like we don't have anything that we have today without it. If that film fails, Disney, Disney fails. fails. Like it's yeah, gone. I mean, he leveraged so. his house for that. Yeah, he did it again for Disneyland. Yeah. Wait, I might be. Mis- he might not have done it for the movie. I feel like he did though, because I feel I like he put he it did. in Lillian's name. I'm pretty sure he did. Yeah. And I think he did it again for Disneyland. And she's like, all right. Yeah. He. Yeah. <laughs> it succeeded with Snow White, so it was like, I'll trust you again for this land. Could you park imagine being thing, married right? to that psycho? <laughs> Imagine coming as much in, he's as like, I love him I would like, never marry it him it would be unbe- like, unbearable imagine imagine yeah. like Taylor coming in like listen okay I leveraged our house because we're gonna I'd add like, on to Disneyland you're you like what? what the fuck are you talking about yeah. that had to be a nightmare yep that had to be a rough go god bless her I, and the <laughs> fact that like he gifted her that petrified tree like, that's in Disneyland she's like Thanks, but go put that in your theme park. Yeah, like, I love that who story. Who gives a petrified tree? I like, what are you doing, Walt? That probably costs like $120,000. Yeah, especially back then, money. too. So, like, yeah. 
Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know about Walt. It would be so rough. Imagine yeah. be, even being friends with him, you'd be like, "Jesus, dude, can you calm down?" Yeah. Like, oh like, my god. You you gave great gifts. So if you ever did that to me, I'd be like, "Is this a signal? Is something wrong with you? Do I need to call the police?" Because <laughs> who wants a petrified tree? <laughs> That's so crazy. Who, you married Lillian. You oh, know what so she insane. likes, Walt. Yeah, she doesn't so like nuts. petrified trees. Come on. Oh, all right. We're She's not the... Black Spire Outpost. <laughs> Was that a nod? I never even thought about that. I Me mean, neither until maybe. now. But maybe. maybe. Maybe huh. that'd be interesting. Heard to hear first. So, uh, Sean, who was it? Sean Beatty, was that the guy, the Imagineer, that I was like the, the lead design on it? Sean Beatty. I feel like I've that's heard the that right name. name. I don't I know, but right. I should. All right, we're at my number eight here. Yeah, my number eight is Pinocchio. Man, it um, should have been on my list. I, th- it's it's not even for the historical aspect of it. I just think the movie really holds up. Yeah, um, it's a it's a great story about you know not being a piece of shit. <laughs> Uh, they kind of depict it in weird ways, like smoking cigars is bad for you. I remember playing pool as a kid and being like, "I'm this is not good." Right? Like, is, remember, is pool bad for you? Uh, yeah, like, yeah, that was, was a weird. It one, was a weird but. one. But the animation is just so good in this movie. Yeah, man. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm to to today's standard, this and the, this animation has the best animation of any Disney film. I will put it up yeah. against. Yeah, you're not wrong. Anything Disney has ever done. Yeah, monstro stuff, the water effects, the bubbles when I, they're underwater. It's yeah, insane. Yeah, they animate it every time they like open their mouth. Their bubbles come out. It's like, insane. You like, didn't have to do that. This, the, that's like special effects animation. It's yeah. still insane. Yeah. Uh, the only thing that might be like more technically difficult was 101 Dalmatians, which is not on my Probably. list. Probably it's not on my. But like I all love the it, like all animating mind. all the spots and all those things. I mean, Jesus. Yeah. Fuck the, the blue fairy like transformation scene. That's pretty pretty epic too. That is like, one of the best scenes of animation. There is another one that's on my list. I think it's Walt's favorite uh, scene. It is. All right. Oh wait, I'm up. sorry. It's not on my list. I removed Ooh. it. I removed it. But it's the scene from Cinderella. Yes, that's Walt's favorite scene of all time. The, the, the dress. Mark Davis. It's, yep. it's my it's, favorite Imagineer slash animator. Unbelievable. Of all time, yeah, Mark he's Davis. he's probably my favorite. Uh, other yeah. than Tony Baxter, I really like Tony Baxter. Tony Baxter's an inch behind. Like he's right there. <laughs> I think the only reason we, we like Mark Davis more is because he's passed, and I hate to be like that, but yeah. I think that's probably it and makes him more he's mysterious. Original. Like, if, yeah. if Mark Davis was around today, he'd still probably be great, but yeah. like, he's not. He's one of the originals back then. If is Tony just, was an original, I'd probably say Tony. Is like, it just me? And this is kind of a side tangent. Are there like no iconic Disney Imagineers we, now? Was it us? That, no, it was me and somebody at work. There's like no iconic Imagineers. I mean, the closest Scott we have is Trowbridge. like Scott, but like. And Joe Rody, but he's gone now. Yeah, so Joe like, doesn't count because he'd be tired. He's gone. So there's yeah. no like rock star Imagineers. That's now, what which scares is so me. If they ever do announce a fifth park, it's like who do you give it to? I don't know. Yeah, they're not going. to. We'll talk worry. about it at D23. Maybe they're not going to do that. Don't yeah, worry. I hope not. But yeah, I think Pinocchio stands the test of time, and then some. Yeah, I think it's just a no question. A, a, just a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal. Did we talk about it with Snow White? Where there's like. Who was it? Was it Word Kimball? Somebody animated like minutes and minutes of scenes that they cut, and he was pissed. I think it was Kimball with with Grumpy. There's a ton of Grumpy stuff. That, that well, cut. It, I don't. It wasn't just Grumpy. It was the whole like dancing scene. They yeah. cut that and like and retooled it like pissed. fifty times. And yeah. Like, but, like imagine how much work you put into that, and you're like, yeah, yeah. it's not gonna work. You're like, yeah, wait, you're no, like, no, I spent what? six months doing this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What yeah. do you mean it's not going to work? No, it's yep. going to fucking work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get it. Oh, but yeah. at the end of the day, Walt knew best with that, yeah. obviously. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Man. My number eight. Number eight? eight? Yes. Is, stick with me here because it's going to take me a second to get there. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea is not animated, but Atlantis is very, very heavily based on like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And Atlantis is my number eight. Interesting. I, I love that movie. I hate that movie. You hate that movie? I don't like oh. it. I watch it like a month or two ago. I've only seen it. it twice in my life. The first time was in the movie theaters. I didn't like it as a kid. Man, I, I own like I all those think, like, what McDonald's year was that? toys. What year was that? Was like 2002? Question. Around that time. I yeah. might have been like too cool for animated movies. That was like right on the edge of that for me. Cause I was in was... middle school. No. I was in like fifth grade. Okay. Right so before middle school. I'm three years old. What year did you graduate? 2012. Okay, I was 2007, so I'm five years. Okay. So I was, wait, how, that doesn't make any sense. Well, I graduated when I was 19. 19? From high school, yeah. The fuck? That's, we talked about this before. That's normal, like, up north. Really? Yeah. I was, like, 17 or 18. I don't think I was 18 That's yet. what it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to start kindergarten when you're five. Really? But, like, everybody up north, before? yeah, everyone up north is, like, six, maybe seven. I don't know. That's like, crazy. Yeah, I don't get it. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So, how old were you? Well, let's look at when this movie came out because now I gotta know. Yeah. I want to say it was like two thousand and one. I think it's a one. 
You're, I, mm. I, I think, think you're it was right. one because I think the part of the, the thing that, yeah, 2001. I nailed yeah. it. Okay. Um, because I remember when it came out, it was like they were going to redo the thing in Tomorrowland. And I think 9/11 was the reason that didn't happen. Yeah, I think it was Tony a Baxter movie. was pitching that as like do the Finding Nemo submarine. They announced as it. Atlantis. Yeah, they, they had a they sign. They had a, a sign that they, were, they were going to redo yeah. it, and then yep. yeah, because so. Tony ba- one of one of Tony Baxter's many jobs was to like go that to poor Eisner. Bastard. That poor yeah. guy got like so much not made. Yeah, but like one of his many <laughs> jobs was to go to Eisner and say. You want to tear down this ride? Well, here's how we'll save it. We'll slap this IP on it. Yep. And most of the time, Eisner loved it and said, do it. A lot of times it works. Yeah. So, And it's not Tony Baxter's fault. I'm not blame, blaming him for all the IP nonsense. Well, no. If, you, like, if you can demolish a ride or save it, you're going to try to save it. it. Yeah. I mean, from a financial standpoint and from me as a fan, I'd rather ride 20,000 Leagues, the Atlantis version, than yeah. not ride 20,000 Leagues. What about the Nemo version? <laughs> I want to ride it still. You haven't done it yet? No. When you went, was it not open? No, it was, but I only had like two hours. So I did Pirates and Indy. I'm surprised that wasn't like the number one thing you wanted to do, as much as you love 20,000 Leagues. Yeah, but I had to do Pirates. I get it. Because that's my favorite ride and movie of all time. That ride's incredible. So That ride's incredible. But yeah, Atlantis. We got freaking Michael J. Fox as the lead character. His voice acting's great. Great. Yeah. Milo, he's awesome. Yep, he's uh, th- he's a stand-up. Some of those characters me. are super one-dimensional. Yeah, and the That's villain thing isn't like a twist, but that twist is pretty lame. I'll is it, admit, isn't it just the like, dude that like is funding the the journey is an asshole? No, Mister Whitmore is still cool. Okay, but it's the hard. It's it's a lot like Avatar, like the military guy. Oh, turns yeah, out to yeah, be that's a right. That's right. That's big right. Big surprise. That's right. That's right. Like I need to Atlantis watch it again. Atlantis is basically Avatar, and so is Pocahontas. Like they're all the same plots. I remember thinking that the chicken and uh, oh no, that was Rodo El Dorado. Oh, I remember that movie. I love that movie. That's a great movie. One of the best non-Disney movies yeah. ever. Like DreamWorks was firing on all syllables back yeah. then. Yeah. <laughs> and they had Prince of Egypt. That was great. That was a great movie. Yeah. That has I, Jeff Goldblum in it, as, for crying out loud. Does it really? Yeah. No Moses way. Moses' brother. What? Or brother-in-law. Brother-in-law, I think. No way. It's Jeff yeah. Goldblum? Yeah. Now, remember, I grew up super-duper religious, so yeah, I watched that movie a I watched that like once times. a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that movie. Yeah, that's a great, it's a great So movie. many good songs in that. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's an I underrated the, animated I, movie, dude. I forget the chick in El Dorado, but that had great music in it, too. She was a piece. Yeah. But no, Kida, Kida's hot, too, in Atlantis. That's different hot. Different hot. The other girl from El Dorado, like, she was down to fuck. <laughs> yep. Well, because they show a scene with her and Tulio, yeah. and they're, yeah, yeah they're, they're having some fun. They don't do that but, shit in kids' movies anymore. For the most part, which I is guess wh- no. Which but. is great, because if I was a parent, I'd be like, what the fuck are you watching? Yeah. Like, Miguel <laughs> walks in on Tulio and that chick. I forget her name. Me too. She was hot. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what are we talking about? What's Jesus our problem? Christ. We got issues. We do. Uh, my number seven, this is going to be very, very controversial to some hardcore Disney fans, but here's what I say. Hmm. I say. Is this the one you said we're going to piss people off? Yeah. Okay. I say, go fuck yourself. Yeah. It's my list. Yeah. I can defend this. Unless it makes me mad, then I hate you. This movie is a classic. It is okay. such a great film. If it wasn't as popular as it is now, people would go, that is one of the best underrated Disney films of all time. And that film is the first Frozen film. Oh, okay. I don't think that should make many people mad. Oh, I, so I agree. It's pressed. not on my list, but I I agree with that reasoning. Yeah, I'm with If you. that movie wasn't... If, that, if this... Show, if this film wasn't represented in every single park across the world for Disney yeah literally the world I mean, Tokyo the Disney the Sea is getting a whole is, frozen land the only one like, it's not in I think is Animal Kingdom there's a yet, presence in every time. park yeah give it except time except Kingdom now that took it out she's in, still they're still in the parade that's right so they are okay so yeah. they're in every Disney park yeah DCA are they in nothing DCA? in DCA no nothing there okay anyway they're in a, they're in most of the parks Man, I just had thought of an honorable mention. Dang. What's your honorable? Throw it should've, up there. I should have put Princess and the Frog in there, man. Oh, I should have put it That's on my beautiful. list, too. It's one of my favorite films of the past and I love years. the, like, the, all the Facilier years. stuff. All that Dr. Facilier stuff. Like, you know I could see a whole I'm movie. I'm going to take thing. one out. Uh-oh. Yeah. Live fuck, editing. Fuck, hey, fuck you, Robin Hood. Oh, I love Robin Hood, but not on my list, so I'm with you. Yeah, fuck you, Robin Hood. Dr. Facilier stuff is beautiful in that movie. Yeah. All the stuff with Jim Cummings too. Like, okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm, I don't want to. Yep. Uh, but I, I think that if if this movie hadn't been so super popular, like the most popular Disney thing ever made, yeah, that people would go back and watch it. They're like, damn, that's an underrated movie. I like it better than the second one by far. I do too. The Everyone second one's the second got way one. too much going on. It's, it's too confusing. Like, I don't like the second one at all. I've seen it like at three all. times. I've seen it twice. I, I still both can't times tell you I was the plot. Like, I'm like, yeah, what happened? There's like. Something. She's a ice spirit. Spirit. Like, and then there's like I, I a, don't know. a fire breathing lizard. I, yeah. I don't like. Super too. cute. I love they that lizard. Their, but like I don't. 
I, I will give the them plot. this. They tried to make it like more of an artsy thing. It's like, oh, it's this super popular commercial thing, but like, we're going to make it artsy. And it's like, it's not what it is. Like, just yeah. embrace what it is. Do a second one. I think all the offshoot stuff, like the Olaf stuff, is great. I love those. I love it. Yeah. I, I think I, I like. I think it was solid, man. I think it's yeah. all I the shorts I, I like too. <laughs> right. Everyone's heard "Let It Go" twenty million times. Yeah, but like, it's just a good movie. Like, I'm, it just is to me. It's a great movie. I will I say love though, it. I, I love fuck. It. Right, I do love uh, what's Kristoff's song in Frozen Two, in, Lost in the Woods. I hate that. I song. love that song. No, but it to me that's that's one of the problems with that movie is that they can't get the tone right. You're right. You're right. One hundred percent. That went, tone does not fit at all. Frozen at all. one or two. You, you made just, like an eighties ballad, rock like an ballad, 80s ballad, love it ballad. Make any sense for yeah. the movie? Yeah, in but, a vacuum, it's a good, great song. But sure, when you put I'll it in that movie, that. you're right. It makes it no sense. It's weird. It makes yep. no sense. I remember watching the movie for the first time. I'm like, what is happening? I thought it was a joke. Yeah, I was like, is this the wrong? Did you click a joke parody on YouTube or something? Yeah, like, what did we watch? I, I thought it was, was going to start as like a bit, and then they're like, stop it. You can't do an 80s ballad. Like, I thought it was going to be like a Olaf a was going to break the fourth wall or something. Something. But, it, yeah. It, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. I get that. And it's also like, it, it kind of feels a little Hamilton because it's Jonathan Groff. <sighs> And he's also in Hamilton, so like that's is probably right. Who does he play in Hamilton? Kit the King. Yeah. Oh, and he's got the best song in the Hamilton. Work. There's good songs in Hamilton. Well, I watched like two three hours. bad songs. I in watched Hamilton. two hours of it, and I couldn't find anything redeeming about that Man, fucking. Play. This is what you meant when you said people are gonna dude, get mad. That, dude, I don't. It's, it's fu- if any, like I, I love you, but I think less of you because you like <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> I, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so trite. It is just so trite, and everything it's sounds bad the way. same. And everything yeah. is just, and then I'm going and going and finding the dinner be, who did it but said it but did it a little way. Lynn's parts are the weakest parts, and he's the main. And character, he can't even so. rap, and he wrote a rap musical about the 1700s. It's so stupid. It's the whole thing is dumb. It, it's like it's like he was trying to go. What's something that hasn't been done before? I know rapping in colonial times. Well, guess You're what? Right, it hasn't. There's been. a reason it hasn't yeah. been done before, and you know what that reason is? It's because it makes. No fucking sense. The rap battles are funny because they're like a bad parody. Then when you do it and it sucks, everyone pretends it's good because they don't want to shit on something that's unique. And then what they want to do is they want to go, that's really powerful and moving. I remember going like, friends of mine that were like obsessed with it. I worked at Disney and I was like, okay, well tell me like two of the good songs. Because like, I'm a musician. I can appreciate music. Even if I don't like something, I can go, at least it's good. This isn't even fucking good. It's boring, it's predictable, it's all the same, it's nonsense, and he should stay the fuck away from Disney movies. It is like 30 minutes too long, by far. The play's like four hours long, dude. Yeah. Guess what? He gets shot in the fucking face. Spoiler alert. Who gives a fuck? It's it's so stupid. And the, the, the oh God, I can't believe that anyone watched that on Disney+. Plus. I, and it was like one of the most popular things that ever done. I watched it twice on Disney+. Plus. It is so fucking boring and so lame, I do not understand... I tr- like truly, dude. Like you know me. Sometimes I go like, I get it. It's just not for me. I this don't get don't how get, anyone can. But it's fucking also not watch for you. This. Yeah, but it is though. I I like history. I'm a huge history fan. True, you like. I music. like music. Yeah, I like rap. Yeah, it just doesn't fucking work for me. I, I don't I, get it. I, I know that is the classification. Understand. I don't consider it rap. Like I know it's, it's what it's rap. called. What but the like, fuck it's, else did you call it? You don't put it next to Eminem. Like it's not rap. Like that's a different. That's what I'm saying. Like, Agre- that's an you can't aggressive hear form rap. of rap. Yeah, it is different. still rap. I know it needs its own thing. It shouldn't be called rap. Even when he does it in, I know, I know you don't like it either. But in Mary Poppins too, that shouldn't be called rap. Didn't see it. Don't okay. know it. That, don't know what it is. That's not rap either. But people call it rap. He's like, mm, so one dimensional. He's not he even, to me. He's not an artist. You can't be that one dimensional and be an artist. I'm sorry. You can't have one thing that you do that people consider good and just be like, that's all I do. It's annoying. Yeah, I think that's fair. It's annoying. He is like, really good at one thing. But yeah. it, is he, though? I it's all so. the same. That's Come true. Come on. It's all the same. So how can you say he's really good if it's all the same? You can be really good at one thing. That's fair. That's what I'm saying. It's just one thing. I, I agree. I fucking hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. I, do, <laughs> I, 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 I wish I could watch. Like, cause I, I thought like I would watch it and go like... like I don't you like, did I, give it a try. I don't like so musicals. Like, that's so the, that's yeah. part of the problem, too. But, but you I, like Disney musicals. Like... I like those, but like yeah. I, I don't like stage musicals. I thought yeah. that was part of the problem. I, but then I watched I Phantom either. of the Opera, and I've seen Chicago. Oh, I haven't seen Chicago. And so. both of those are really, really good. They're mm-hmm. engaging. This is like, who gives a fuck, though? For me, one of those for me is Rent. I don't... Oh, God. I don't, don't even fucking start with I, Rent. I don't get it. 
Like, I, I don't my know. favorite my favorite parody thing of all time is is Lease the musical from from uh, Team Lease, America. Lease, I haven't Police. seen it, but I love that name. No, no, it's just for, it's a scene in Team America World Police. It's oh, okay. like AIDS. Da, 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 <laughs> everyone has AIDS. So did da, you see da, the new da, Cats da, movie? Did AIDS, you see AIDS, that? AIDS, AIDS. I haven't seen Cats, but <laughs> the breakdown of the song goes AIDS, 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 AIDS. AIDS. <laughs> I wanted to see fucking cats, and that's rent right there. Ugh. Cats looked horrible. I'm anyway, I'm s- okay. I, I, that was a good I'm rant. Not, I loved it. I'm not shitting on anyone who likes it. God bless Except you. Except for me. Uh, but you're smarter <laughs> than that, though. Am These I? Two, the people that like this, are dumb as fuck. Well, I'm no, just I, dumb. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You mm-hmm. can buy all me. No, no. I'm. I'm come on. I wouldn't. I wouldn't <laughs> I show this what, what people like. I just don't get it, and I don't get why anyone does. But if you but do, you're not one of those idiots God bless that just didn't give it a chance. You no, gave I, it a chance. I, I, I try. So. I didn't watch the entire thing because I fucking but you couldn't, couldn't anymore. But you started and tried. I, I watched. Yeah. I think an hour and forty minutes of it, and looked at Holly like, "Are we good?" Because I'm. I'm yeah. I got it. He gets. Sh- I know what happens. He there's gets a shot lot. In the fucking head. I, I'm. I'm one of those idiots <laughs> where if it's like there's something I'm not interested, I just don't give it a chance. So I'm one of those. I will give anything a chance. I don't. I do, I'll so. give anything a chance because, like, I, there's nothing I like more than being surprised. Yep. The the best movie that I've seen in a while was an M Night Shyamalan movie called You. What the fuck was that movie called? Hang I on, I haven't heard of it. It was but. so good because I wasn't expecting it to be good, and the way they did it was just so like unexpected. And I've thought about it like at least once a week for the past month. Wow. That's anyway, how you know it's it good called? if it makes you think. What's it called? What's it called? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Old. That's what it's called. Oh, the one on the beach. Yes, the beach that makes you old. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, it's so good. And it was like I was going like, okay, this is going to be one of those M Night Shyamalan movies because it is an M Night Shyamalan movie. I'm like, I know where this is going. I didn't know where it was going, and it was interesting. Yeah. And I'll give it like I gave uh, the. This is going to piss Tom off too. I gave the Snyder cut uh, uh, a shot. Yeah. I don't get it. I haven't given it a shot, but it's not bad. But it's four hours of something that could have easily been two. And it's yeah. very long. And it is very CGI heavy. And there's ashes floating in That's the screen the entire either. fucking time. That's one of the few things that aren't ILM. And you can tell. <sighs> it just looks cheap to me. Um, yeah. I'm sure they'll talk about the. Ben Affleck's comeback as Batman and Aquaman. I think that's Yay, only because. No, nah, I think I think it's because of Amber Heard. Oh, I think I, they had, I think they had to read. They like, had to go like, okay, well, this movie's not going to be about this anymore. What relationship works? Yeah. Everyone wants Ben Affleck. Throw him in there. Get him in the fucking phone. Yeah. Anyway, uh, where are we at? Is my number fuck seven. Hamilton. Right. Yeah. That's this not episode, an animated this, feature. This episode so. should be called Brad screams fuck Hamilton. <laughs> I think all my points are fair. Yeah. No, they are. Yeah, because I agreed with a lot of them. He is good at one thing, and like that's just the thing he does every time. So yeah. But why does he keep doing it? Why do they keep, people keep letting him do it? <laughs> did he? Did he do? Did he do Encanto? I've heard that he did. I haven't seen. I'm. I'm so that far movie's behind. the I haven't shit. Seen hey, it. here's the thing. That I'm going music to. is the shit, dude. That song. Um, we don't talk Bruno? about Bruno. Yeah. Slaps hard as fuck. I don't dude, know I if li- it is him, so I have to look. I think it's him. I'm pretty sure because I remember okay. Holly telling me it was, and I was like, No oh, way. Oh god. And You're I was like, like, Oh no. And I was like, Oh god. And then then. Hearing it outside of the context of the movie, I love that. I'll, every once in a while, when it's just us, I'll be like, "Dude, don't don't talk about Bruno." I fucking nice. love that song. It slaps. Dude. Was it Jim and Lynn that were talking about that might be coming in to save Harmonious? It's one hundred percent gonna happen. Okay. I think I think you're gonna get finally get the Brazil Pavilion at D twenty three this year. We'll talk just about to save that. Epcot we'll talk and save about Harmonious. That. Yeah, we'll talk about that on another Noted. episode. Uh, I think uh, it was one at? of your honorable mentions. My number seven is Treasure Planet. Yes, I great love movie. that. I love that because I grew up on Muppets Treasure Island. All I did the time. too. I love that. I love That's that my movie, favorite dude. Muppets film. Me too, by far. That one and Christmas Carol are like the I love, two best. My two are um, Muppets from Space and That's a good one. And, uh, that might be third. And Muppets for me. Treasure Island. Yeah, I love. We could do a top Island. ten Muppets one day. That'd, That'd be, fun. be fun. That'd be fun to do. But, yeah, it's those three for me. Space and Treasure Island and Christmas Carol are my top three. We got but cabin fever. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, did you have the sing-along on VHS of that? I remember it, but I don't I had that. It. I watched the actual movie like once a week and the sing-along like once a week. Such a good movie. Love that. Freaking, what's his name? Tim, Tim Curry? Curry. Yep. As freaking like Long, long John beard. Silver. Long John, I said Long Beard. Long Beard. Fuck's long Beard. Black Beard and Long Black John Silver. <laughs> so I grew up on that. So then seeing this, I'm, I grew up a, a huge sci-fi nerd, Star Wars for crying out loud. So I'm like, wait, Treasure Island, but... But it's space? Such, it's, like what? Double check this. But I'm while well, I'm talking because I can't multitask. Can you, you? Is your phone handy? We'll give it a try. Come on, data. I'm fairly Don't confident that this was John, Ron Clements, and John Musker that directed this. I believe you're right. I remember those two names being attached to because it. Because it is sure. such. They do such great work with like a, a unique visionary thing. Like it is just such a like 
taking this iconic story and bringing it to steampunk, essentially. Yeah, John Musker and Ron, Ron Clements, Clements, 2002, so right after Atlantis. Wow. God. Yeah, that, I think this movie's so underrated. The, I think the yeah. only thing that suffers a little bit is the soundtrack. And I think it's only because they, they went used with the like Goo Goo Dolls. Yeah, they went pop songs instead but of like... I love that song, though. I do, too. That song's I'm amazing. I'm still here. I'm still here from John Resnick, lead yeah. singer of the Goo Goo Dolls. Yeah. And it's it fits that song. montage perfectly 100%. for Jim and what Jim's going through. I think through. if they didn't have that, it would feel a little different. It wouldn't... Because anytime you yeah. date... Like, dating a Disney movie is a rough call. Because, like, whenever you look at, like, Cinderella or something that's old, it has that old, like, like Yeah. But it's kind of timeless, because it's, like, what era of music is, Hoo! Yeah. It's not a thing. Like, it's, like, maybe the 1800s or some shit we don't maybe. have written down. Well, but none of us were alive back then, so we yeah. don't know. We were but alive in 2002 when that song came out. It's us, it so. sounds like the 50s, because that's when that movie was made, but it's yeah. not the 50s, because you listen to 50s music. There's nothing like that. No. So it's, like, it's, it's a unique thing, and I think that kind of... Is, is, as much as I love the song, and I, like you said, it absolutely fits in the montage. I feel like it kind of dates it a little bit. Yeah. But, I mean, it'd be like putting Bruno Mars in a, in a, in a Disney movie now. You're yeah. like, it they doesn't wouldn't do work. It. They would it, not. It, they wouldn't. No, it just doesn't fit. No. But it does. But It fits it, in that movie, long, but it would. Long term, it yeah. doesn't fit. Yeah. But I love that movie. Did dude. you ever, did you have the DVD? Oh, I'm they, sure I did. They had the music video of that song on the DVD. Oh, yeah, and yeah, And I would yeah. go just watch that music video. <laughs> like. <laughs> Yep, my dad loves that song. He'll play that Love just that randomly to me this too. day. Me too, and it gets me like I don't cry, but it gets me emotional. They it gets me. Tell me who to be. Yeah, banner, banner, Yeah, I love the bass in there. Banner, banner, banner. I keep on dreaming for me. I love that shit, dude. Come yep. on. Yep. You know what's funny? That song was actually in. Uh, my parents made me. This is hilarious. My parents made me a graduation DVD of like a montage of my, like me growing up to graduation, and that yeah. song was on that DVD. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I love that but it's, song. But it's perfect because like it's a coming of age <clears throat> story for Jim, and like I know in like the original my Treasure Island, my graduation was a coming story of me <laughs> <laughs> for Brad Hawkins. But like in the original <laughs> one, <laughs> it sounds like a pirate name, Brad Hawkins. Brad Hawkins. Bradley Hawkins. Bradley Hawkins. Arr. But like it was it, the original one was Bobby Driscoll, so he's like what ten. So like it's a much different version. Dead in a warehouse somewhere. Well, now, but back Rest then he was like years. ten playing Jim. But then yeah, you get he was this, young. he this like teenage gritty Jim Hawkins. It was cool. And like his, his like surfboard, like his sur- sail that surfer. A, that was the, heck the it was trailer called? of the movie. Yeah, you remember that? Yeah, the trailer was him like him going through up like Beggars like, Canyon, basically. <sighs> like, like yeah, spinning down. Oh, yeah, dear. and then going through like that gravel excavator thing and almost dying. Such and like a, everything was so cool design. Like the police robots that like take him back to his house like double check this now too i'm fairly certain that this movie didn't do well because it was released the same week as the same weekend as harry potter the first harry potter movie all right so we got november What's, 27th 2002 i'm like treasure 99 percent confident look look up harry, harry potter, potter one and, uh, harry potter and the sorcerer stone film release date 2001 so within a year well er, yeah no no you just said 2001 on the other one didn't you oh you're right you're right you're right no, 2002. Um, Atlantis was 2001. Treasure Planet is November 27th, 2002. And what's the first Harry Potter movie? 2001. Is that right? That's what the internet says, and it's never wrong. It was the second Harry Potter movie. It was probably that. I do remember hearing like YouTube videos and stuff break that down, where it was a I Harry Potter-related thing. Same like Weekend or something, even. No, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, November 14th, 2001. Yeah, so a year... Apart. Atlantis is 2001. Treasure Planet is 2002. November 14th, 2002. It's the second yeah. Harry Potter movie. Uh, so that's what it was. That's what it was. Okay, it was Harry Potter. Treasure Planet okay. had Harry Potter 2 coming out. That's what it was. My Man, parents they were like smart. A year back to back? They Harry filmed Potter? them like, all at the same time. Wow. I'll give them that. That's one of the smart things they did. That was wow. genius. You know, writing would help. Um, mm, they don't do that. <laughs> no, nah, Harry Potter's fine. There's nothing wrong with Harry Potter. It's just not right. something I attach I, myself to. It's a quizzle for. Who gives a fuck? Quizzle for. Fifteen points to quizzle for. <sighs> All right, where but, we um, that I played with. Lego. I still play with Legos. But after seeing that movie, I went home and I tried to make like a Lego space pirate ship, and it it was a, a rough try. But like that is what inspired me to have the Lego pirate ships I have today. Was that movie like 
that movie left a huge imprint on me. Yeah, I, I think so with me too. I love I love it. Yeah. The, the design aesthetic is cool. You, yeah. I love Blob or Morph. Morph. Sorry, Morph. Yep. Not and then Blob, you have to get Long John Wright, and they got Long John Wright. They made him a cyborg. 100%. Such a good idea. Such a great idea. The whole yeah. thing is just a brilliant. The one legged man becomes a cyborg in yeah. this version. Perfect. Love it. Uh, my number six, moving on, is Emperor's New Groove. Yeah, that's on mine too. It's one of the funniest Disney movies of all time. Yep. I love, and we can talk into it a little bit, but the behind the scenes of that, like. Nuts. What was it called? Into the Sun or Emperor's Sun? Empire of the Sun, I em- think. Yep, that's what it was. Empire of the Sun. And it yep. was like they literally scrapped half the movie, if not more, yeah. and started over. And it was like they couldn't get the tone right. And I, I think they nailed it. Like, yeah. I know a lot of people don't love this movie because they're like, it doesn't feel Disney. It does to me. It I'm, does? I've never felt that way. Yeah. It always felt very, like the animation style seems very Disney to me. Yeah. Uh, it was in that era of like Shrek and stuff. And so I get like... The humor of the like early two thousands was very different yeah. than like the humor reference now. humor and fourth wall humor. But it's just a stuff. great David Spade is like. I don't think yeah. I, I don't. Did I ever work with David Spade? I don't think I ever worked with David Spade. But he was always somebody. I was like, if I ever worked with him, I would just only talk to him about this movie. <laughs> and so he would hate you. He'd be like, be like you know, I was in this too, right? Be like, no, no, he'd no. Probably be like, I don't know. Cause I don't care. Probably that. Yeah, <laughs> the old Eric Idle thing where yeah. he forgot about Figment. And everyone hated That's him. That's hilarious. Like, yeah, we talked about that. Like, come, come on, man. Yeah, it's his job. It's a He's done. Yeah. Do you remember everything you've ever done in your job? No. Nope. Exactly. Shut the fuck up. I don't remember what I did today. It's like, insane. People. Uh, but I, I, one thing I always loved was I loved the roller coaster ride and that. Isma, put like, your hands in the air. Put your, put your hands in the air. Austin, uh, we need you to come back. <laughs> Do your crunk. Uh, I just love it so much. But I could talk about it all day. It's just such a great. Yeah. Great movie. Yeah. It's so funny. Yep. <laughs> it's just so silly. <laughs> a llama, he's supposed <laughs> to be dead. dead. Yeah. I have an idea. Weird. I'll turn him into a flea. <laughs> a harmless little, little flea. flea. Then, then I'll put, put that, that flea in a box. Inside of a box. Put then I'll put that box inside another box. box. Then I'll mail that box to myself. And when, when it arrives, I'll <laughs> smash it with a hammer. Brilliant, brilliant, I say. Genius. And then the, I, do she you, smacks it and it kills the plant. Goes, you, or to save on postage, <laughs> I can just poison him with this. Like, you ever see that when she puts the llama thing, the tree turns into a llama? You ever yes, notice in that? the background. So I didn't good. when I was a kid. But yeah, so the, it's a cactus turns, <laughs> cactus into, a turns into a llama. That's such a good like, I love hint. It so much. Yeah. I love it. All right, what's your number six? Um, number six for me, <laughs> you talked about it on your list, Aladdin. I mean, uh, the, the squeaker, entire... squeak, squeak, squeaking. <laughs> <laughs> tell the talking squirrel... <laughs> Which way the, the squirrel talking won't, llama the squirrel won't talk to Isma? He's yeah. like, <laughs> he's like, hey, uh, he won't talk to you, Isma. He's having yeah, kind of a hard day. He's having a rough one. Yeah, <laughs> and Isma's like, we've had a hard day. Like, yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll get back I'm to watch it. Watch that shit tonight. I love it so much. I, I might too, but we'll get back Look to it. It's on my list. Smiling so it's much. On, <laughs> I love that movie. I love it. <laughs> Number six for me is Aladdin. Like overall, like you said, the movie is just great. The music's great. Like you said, it's uh, Howard Ashman, all that stuff. But like. We, you said it too. It's for me the biggest thing is Robin, because yeah. Robin's my top three favorite actor of all time. He might be like my top ten favorite human of all time. Like I love that dude, but that Im- embodies Robin, and I cannot watch that without crying. I it's couldn't hear one. the genie in Happily Ever After without crying. I remember I was like, I did stand up the night he died. I remember that that was a rough. Yeah, one. I think we talked about that night. I was in a comedy club that he performed at. That's wild. That night in Canada, like I of had, all the places. You were in Canada. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. Um. I did I ever tell the opportunity that I had to see him perform? I don't think so. So there was a there's a comedy club that I performed at once or twice, I think. Maybe I think just once. Uh called the Laughing Skull in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And they were doing this thing like the only reason I even knew about this is because like I went to the club and I like followed their Facebook. I was like, you know, trying to be like, hey, marketing, cool. Like, yeah, I'll follow you. Like yeah. you follow me. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and they had this thing where it was like, we don't know if it's gonna actually happen. But for five bucks, you can buy a ticket, and it'll be refunded if you, the the person doesn't show up. And it was a special guest, five bucks. So they didn't say who. No, oh. it was like surprise guest, Dang. and that's uh, a gamble you pay. Yeah, I mean, even if not to not take the five bucks, but like the the thing, the cool thing about this the thing is you have to. This comedy club holds eighty three people. Well, it's tiny. I mean, it's not even the, the one size I went of this to garage. was maybe two hundred people. It's not so. the size of this garage. I mean, Laughing Skull is tiny. I have pictures of me on stage with Jeez. Laughing Skull doing stand up, and it's tiny. I mean, like. The picture was taken in the back of the room, and I'm like, from here to you. Like, it's tiny, dude. Like, it's a small, small room. And it was Robin Williams. Oh. And I remember I didn't buy tickets, and it was, I was just like, what the fuck? But I was, I was doing a show that weekend. I couldn't, I couldn't have gone if, if I got the tickets, but I was just like, man, five bucks to see Robin Williams. Like, he doesn't need the money. He probably donates it to the wait staff. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I bet he died like a year later. 
Jeez. What year did he die? Like 2014? I want to say 2015, maybe. 15? So I think this yeah. was like 2013. I was like... Because I was doing stand-up. So yeah, I was, like in, I was in college when it happened, so... But I was also it in college have, for dude, like you know 15 what? years. This so. might have been 2014. Okay. I can when see did he die? Now. Was it 2014? I feel like it might have been Somewhere later in there. Because I graduated high school in 2012, and then I went to college. We went to Canada during my second or third year of yeah, college. Yeah, 2014, August 11th. Is when he passed? Yeah. So that was my second year of college when he passed. Jeez. Well, you know what? It actually probably was the same year then because I had I had started doing stand up in like 2012, I think. 20, oh my gosh. 2011, 10 maybe. Man, but like it was close. It yeah. was close. I, mean, I, remember, I remember thinking about that when he died. I was like, man, I could have seen that dude. Like, yeah, I w- I remember. I could have opened for him. <sighs> like that would have been fucking wild. Your life would have been perfect there. You're over. Like there's nowhere to go. <sighs> wild, man. Wild, but. It, yep. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, Aladdin's a shit, man. It's a great movie. No, no and arguments. Gilbert Godfrey too now. Oh Rest my in peace. god, I know. Like, losing two great comedians that, from that same to me, movie. He's the f- the best sidekick of all time. Yeah, in that he, movie. He, Crunk's up there too, but like, yeah, not. It's this is a, well, not even sidekick. I mean, like Disney animal sidekick. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. like. De- Crunk, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but like but animals like flounder. Flounder's annoying. Is I hate flounder. I like flounder, dude. He's I annoying. mean, I want to eat him like sashimi. I would definitely eat him in a heartbeat. He's he's awesome. Yeah. Uh, all right, my number five is Princess and the Frog. This where, was where Robin should have been was. on my list. Should have been, but I think the music's great. I think they encapsulate what um, New Orleans is. Yeah, um, I think they've really underutilized this in the parks, especially at Disneyland, having New Orleans Square there. But you don't want to shove everything into a yeah into the land. It's but I think not it, fair. But it's, I think it's natural. Like I think it's a natural fit. That's of all the IPs that Disney has ever put into their parks. This one to me makes the most sense, and they've done the least with it. Yeah. Because it's like it's restaurants, <laughs> it's food, you, money, food, you pay you, money you know, to enjoy you know, it. It's like, she makes beignets in the fucking movie. Like it all just makes, gumbo. Yeah, it makes all the sense in the world, and they've not really done much with it. It's I'm a little concerned with um, the Frontierland aspect of this. It Here, it's sense. not going to work. Disneyland is no. going to be awesome unless but. they retheme Frontierland and kind of make it like a mini New Orleans square, which I would be cool with. I think that'd actually be really cool. I'd be okay with it. Um, we still have Frontierland at Disneyland. It's, That's I fine. I don't care. Frontierland, who cares? Like yeah. it's it's one of my it's my favorite land at Magic Kingdom, other than Tomorrowland at night. But I just think it would be something that you could update, and I don't think anyone would have an issue with it because Frontierland yeah. is kind of New Orleans just earlier. You know, yeah, it's, it really it's is. the same kind of thing. Yeah. Um, Kind of. I mean, there's obviously cultural impact with the Cajuns and the Haitians that live there, but yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I love the movie so much. I think. I think it's. Uh, I really think it's the best Disney film in the past 15 years, by far. Yeah, I think by you're far. right. I think I, you're right. I mean, other than Frozen. Yeah, and you didn't even say your boy Jim Cummings in there either. Yeah. Like, Playing come on, the Firefly dude. Yeah. Like, I dude, talked to him he, about that. When he dies. I, that kills me every time. I cry. Ooh, it's rough. I hate that. I thought it's for rough. sure he wasn't going to die. I was like, oh, he just stepped on him, so he's like just hurt. Like, he's not going to die. Yeah, my favorite but, line when I interviewed him was like, the only guy that could make you cry from a firefly passing, Jim Cummings. Yeah, he's, he's not wrong. I'm, you know what? We need to get him back on the show. Dude, you, I would love that. You want to do it? You want to get him back on? Of course I want to do that. We'll do it. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll reach out he's, to those people. I love him, but I mean, you love him another level than I do, but I still love him. Like... Yeah, I would Let's love do it. To. You want to get him back on the show? Okay. Yeah, right. no question. Right. I'll, I'll reach out to him again. Noise. Um, all right, you're number five. Number five, just, I like a lot of villains, so just for the villain aspect. Outside of Maleficent, Sleeping Beauty's, eh. But Maleficent is awesome, so I love mind. Sleeping Beauty. You're out of your fucking mind. I think the movie's kind of, eh. You're out of your fucking Not much mind. happens except for no, Maleficent being mind. a badass. You're out of your mind. But just for her, she makes it number five. You're out of your mind. She was anima- animated by my boy Mark Davis, too, so like. He did her. Like that's, that's a, a big genius. connection, man. But yeah, I love. I just love Maleficent. That's why Sleeping Beauty is number five. And no shame in that. That's a good one. Um, my number four. She dies brutally too, man. Yeah, just like right on screen. First Disney sword film with in the blood. heart, just <laughs> dead. First Disney film with blood. Yeah. Oh yeah. You're, I never knew that. First Disney. Never film made with that blood. connection, yes, sir. First Disney film with blood. What's it rated? Uh, PG. No, it's G. I think G. I think it's G. I don't think they had. They didn't have the. Uh, no, they had PG thirteen. That was the. Yeah. Because, like, you know what's funny? You go back and watch E.T. That's 100% a PG-13 film. Well, it depends. He calls is the it, kid, like, douchebag. Is <laughs> it like, what the, the version where they changed everyone's shotgun to a radio? Or is it the no, version when they the, have shotguns? No, the OG version. Okay, when they but, have shotguns. But, but do you know what? Like, that actually wouldn't make sense. Like, that would make the rating go up. Yeah. I mean, I get it. Yeah. It's fair. Uh, my number four. So this is where... why th- This movie right here is the whole reason I added the... Disclaimer at the beginning of like it can be anything as long as it's not Pixar. Okay, well, 
Okay, go ahead and say which one it is because we talked about it off air. I was like, I'm going to ask you this question on air because I want to see if you said it counts. So go ahead. What is it? Goofy movie. Okay, that's not what I thought. Okay. Yeah. It's, Dang, that should be on my list. It I watch that like once a year. Fucking classic. Yeah. It is one of the best pieces of Disney media ever made. Yep. It was made by like a, a B or C team. From Disney Toon Animation or whatever yeah. the hell the subdivision was. Which usually was. makes the uh, straight to DVD Cinderella sequels. 2 and 3 yeah. and all that shit. Yep. It is such an iconic movie. When I, when I yeah. interviewed Bill Farmer a few years ago, I got on a really lucky streak early on on the, on the Daily Disney Blog podcast. Yeah, I'd love to, to talk to him too, man. I can make that happen too. That's insane. Um, I was like, Do you, were you guys like aware like how good this movie was when you were making it? Probably like, not. He's like, no. No. <laughs> we had no idea it's it was just gonna another be, be a, th- a panel they do 30 years later at or 25 years later at D23. And he didn't even meet the guy that played Powerline until Whoa. that meeting. He Whoa. never met the guy. That's funny and how it was that just happens. Wild. Like, well, you don't you don't record anything together. You record right. everything by yourself so it, they can get each individual take exactly how they want it without yeah. feeding off other people. It's wild, dude. Like it's it's such a the music in that, like the the power lines. I mean, dude, it is one of the best Disney films ever made. I love it so much, and it's so silly, but it's yeah. just such a fucking awesome movie. I love Principal Skinner builds, in that movie. Uh, oh, uh, 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 I forget that voice actor's name. He's he, a big. He, he voice plays actor. Rex in Toy Story. Yeah, he does a, a ton of Disney stuff. Principal. Uh, Mazer. Oh, uh, Skinner Principal Simpsons. Mazer. Yeah, Mazer. What's up, bro? She's. I worked, uh, I worked with, uh, with um, what's Homeboy? Paul. Uh, uh, right? Polly Shore. Yeah. I worked with Polly Shore the once. The Leaning and I was like, Tower of Cheese. I was like, do you understand like how big of a deal the Goofy movie was? He's like, I don't know what you're talking about, bro. And I was like, <laughs> Leaning Tower of Cheese. He goes, what? And I was like, oh, great. <laughs> Fuck me, dude. Do you have that shirt, Bobby's Pizza? No, but I, I, I wanted it. Shirt. I wanted it. I bought I it just because of the Goofy yeah, movie. Man. It was at the outlet for Donald's my dude, but I I love Goofy movie. Like it's great, dude. Goofy's not even Donald's in, my, in it he, for like three seconds. Not even doesn't even say a line. Not even but he's in seconds. it, just like he is in the Mickey and Minnie's Railway. Need a break from modern living. Like all the music is just so great. Yeah, in I love the when movie. Max clicks over to rock. And he's like <laughs> in the chair. Uh, like, Hopes uh, he's, he's got, got, and then he clicks it. I hopes yes, he's got high, <laughs> high in the. Oops, there goes another. Yeah. Oh, great! You ruined it. The cassette like flies out of the the player, dude. Wake up when you get there. I remember being like, I remember being like a kid, being like, yeah, fuck you, Goofy. And now that I'm a right. dad, I'm like, fuck you, Max. <laughs> <laughs> That's I what makes it so great, though. Head you can connect to way, it. Head navigator and head witch, uh, the the senior navigator and yeah. head witch wayer of this here road trip. <laughs> I love because Goofy finds out what happens because of yeah. because of Pete. But like when he lets Max still tell him what to do, even though Goofy knows he's doing the wrong thing. Can we talk about the cheese scene? Where he pulls the cheese pizza. Yeah. I wanted that That's cheese how all pizza, pizza should so be. fucking bad yeah. when I was a kid, man. Yeah. I wanted it so... And that's funny because that like became a meme. But yep. I remember telling my parents, like, I want extra cheese Back like then, Goofy movie. Like, yeah. as a kid, I was like, I want But you that see that cheese. meme now and you're like, Goofy movie made us think all cheese pizza was like that. Right. And like, that's and a I, meme. It's so funny that's a meme because yeah. I remember telling my parents, like, order extra cheese because I wanted it to look like that. Yeah, and it's impossible. Like, you And can't. then that, that, like, mermaid room... You know, the water bed. When they announced that they were doing the mermaid rooms at Art of Animation, that was the first thing I thought of. I, I was wish like, they did that. Would that. Have been hilarious. Can you imagine that? Hilarious, man. And it can we can? Well, I don't want to say that. And then we can build a Lester's Possum Park. Like, come on, it, making fun of Country Bear. Like, it's yeah. just the whole thing is just brilliant. It's yeah. just such a great movie. It's so well written. Who's your favorite possum? <laughs> Lester, <laughs> beat a doofus. <laughs> Bentley, he slaps Bentley, his head around. My kids love it. Yeah, my kids love it's it. Like timeless. It's, it's, it's that completely one's timeless. timeless. Dang, that should be on my list. Extremely goofy movie is not exactly timeless, and it's not very. I liked good. it as a kid, but I it's never not. saw it until I was an adult. I saw it only as a kid. I haven't seen it in fifteen years. We didn't years. mention Bigfoot. Bigfoot with oh, the Bee Gees. I love that scene. Oh, when he's <laughs> he puts it on his face on his head, and you can see his face. <laughs> like, and like, it starts with his shoulders. High dead like, soup. Oh, and there's so many so iconic sad. things from this movie. Yeah. Like ambidextrous, like, or uh, I, I love pledge you. allegiance. Oh, I love you. And then like, and oh, like um, mm, awkward. The the saddest moment. Man. I have. I'm a, I'm not a kid anymore, Dad. I have my own life now. I know. I just wanted to be a part of it. And you're like, oh, fuck. that's sad. As a yeah. dad, I'm just like watching with my kids hold him. Like, oh, yeah. yep. Uh, such a great movie. All right, I can Man. talk about goofy movie. This could be a goofy movie podcast. I that should fucking be, love I that change. movie. Can I add it anyway? Nope, too late. You did it on your list. I Don't know, even. But it was not. This the is same my thing. list. So, like you said, <laughs> screw you. 
Can I change it? I can't take any of them out. Dang <laughs> we it, talked about it enough. It's fine. It should have been on my list, but it's I can't fine. take anything out. Because my number four, we've talked about it already, is The Emperor's New Groove. Like, so many good Love voice it. actors in there. Yeah. We didn't mention John Goodman is in it. Yeah. Eartha Kitt. Is, the kid is, it, is, how do they get Eartha Kitt to be so Yzma? Crazy. How? So crazy. That's one of the last things she did. And that's one of the best things she ever did. Yeah, like, she, she even did the so TV nat- show, uh, Emperor's dude, New School. She's so natural How did they get her role? to do that? It's insane, man. I watch that show once, twice a week on Disney+, Plus. Emperor's New School. I've never seen it. Oh, that's good. Really? Yeah, they get okay. they get um, Patrick Warburton's back as Krunk, Eartha Kitt's back as Yzma, not David Spade and not John Goodman, but... Wild. They they all hold up. They do a good job. You can tell it's not David Spade, but the guy does a good job with with or Cusco. Cusco. Jeez. But how has that not been a water park? Tear down Blizzard I've Beach and give us Cusco Topia. Cusco Topia. Yeah. Like, come on. <laughs> if that's what they do at at D twenty three, I will I'll be happy. Imagine Bob J. Vick comes out. He's like, and introducing to our newest addition to the Walt Disney World Resort, we're building the most immersive themed water park ever in existence. And that it comes from to the, the two thousand and two <laughs> film or whatever. <laughs> Emperor's New, New Crew. We're building a full immersion. No, 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 version He stops halfway Emperor through. Of checks notes. Emperor's Cus- New Grove. Groove. Groove. Kuzkatopia. Cus- yeah. Quinoatopia. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What, uh, what were we at? Uh, that was my number four. All right. My number three is The Little Mermaid. I don't yeah, think I need okay. to say anything past that. It's fucking, I it kicked off the decade, man. The Disney movie. decade. Great movie. Yeah. Might have um, saved Disney. Yeah. Yeah. It's very possible. I mean, that movie's yeah. perfect. It, it's one of the few perfect Disney films. There's a few other perfect Disney films on my list. Yeah. But it's a perfect Disney film. Freaking uh, Jodie Benson. That's unreal. all you got to say. Unreal. Like, she's so talented. Yeah. Uh, the music's unbelievable. The, it's not slow ever. No. The pace is perfect. The animation's stunning holds up it's just a perfect film it's one of the few perfect disney films it's perfect yeah the fact they were going to cut part of your world out of that movie is fucking wild to me i don't know if it would have done as well like i don't think so that's such an iconic that's that could be a top 10 top 10 disney like songs that would be in there yeah oh dude it's my uh under the sea is my number one that's your number one number wow. two my, my number my actual number one is a weird one it's so uh this is love from cinderella i just love that movie that's a good one it's something i wanted to be my wedding song yeah, I love that one. movie. Yeah, so this is or that song. Na, 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 so this na, na, is the na, 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 na. but mm-hmm. if you're talking about like an actual like fun Disney song, Under the Sea is my number one. Yeah, that one's super fun. It's the best. You can't not like bob your head and sing along. It's just iconic. The loop like, plays the flute. Do, 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 do. Half the blaze play the bass and they sound the shop. <laughs> the pass yep. play the bass, the jump play the dumb. The flute is, is my favorite part. So yeah. yeah, that's my favorite. When I ride the ride, yeah. Taylor like looks at like me like she wants to kill me, but I do that as loud as I can. We go past that scene. Th- I go yeah. I used to have a thing on my Twitter and Instagram where I would every time I rode the ride, I'm like it's the Duke of Soul. Yep. Yeah. I do that every time. Remember Taylor that? like slaps that? me. Yeah. Yep. I do that. I'm like <laughs> yeah. Cause that's the best it. part. I love that. I love the Duke of Soul. Man. I, He's I one of my favorite say. background Disney characters. I love the <laughs> top ten Soul. background Disney characters. Oh, dude, he'd be number one. He's like he's like my R five. He's cooler Flounder. than Flounder. I tell you yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So ridiculous. Dang, was I just, oh, um, did you ever watch the show on Disney Channel? No. Why am I watching that? Oh man, I watched that as a kid. It's on Disney Plus. I have watched a little bit of it. Freaking back to Tim Curry. Tim Curry's in that. He's yeah. a villain in that show. I knew that. Yeah. That's weird. He's a great villain. Yeah. Just anytime. He's, and he was in a uh, uh, Alien Encounter, bro. Yeah, he was Sir. Sir. The second Simulated version of Sir. Simulated Ro- Intelligence, Intelligence Robotics. Robotics. Wild. Um, all right, him. where are you at? Number, Number three. three. I think you said it honorable mention, maybe? Lion King. Yes. Yeah. My boy Drew, it's his favorite movie of all time. I get but it. I get it. That, it's a great movie. That just, show at other Animal Kingdom like might be the best show on Disney property. I don't care. Oh. I've seen it twice. Don't I cry care. every time. Really? It's don't great. Care. It's great. I get it. It's but it's quality. I just don't care. Another great voice acted. I mean, it's got freaking... Darth Vader in it. How do you not love Darth Vader? Like, I, oh, I that wasn't Darth directed Vader. at you, but I, I guess Darth it is. It's, I love the movie. You're, not, you're preaching to the choir yeah. here. I mean, like, it's, it's just hard to squeeze hard, in It's, hard, 10, to, it's hard to put Disney movies. Like, they're so, they're just so subjective. Yeah. And it's like when you see them. Like, one of the reasons why I wanted to put Robin Hood on my list was because I had an action figure from a McDonald's action. From oh, a, that's cool. Remember the VHS ones they did? Oh, yeah. I had that same one. Yeah. And I probably got rid of it. And he had, like, the away. fuzzy tail. I kept, like, one or two of them. I that wasn't watched one, the movie. I be, we bought the movie because of that toy. So yeah. the marketing worked. Yep. <laughs> and I just fell in love with the movie. But, like, I, I love it, but I don't love it some of the other ones. That's why I removed it. I like yeah, that's stuff fair. Way better. Robin Hood's great. But, like, they're all subjective. It's weird. Like, I remember yeah. seeing it at, like, my mom used to do, uh, like, jazzercise. 
And we used to like go to the kids area at the gym. Oh yeah, we, that's where I first saw Robin Hood. And I was like, I like that huh. movie. I don't remember where I first saw it. But then we There's a it. few things I do. Then we went to like McDonald's like that night or that week or whatever, and we got the toy. That's how my parents did everything. It yeah. was just as soon as we saw a movie, we ended up buying a toy in a store or a McDonald's. Like that's just. I had all the small soldiers yeah. toys. Oh, dude, me too. Did you really? What was, it? was Chip? Was that the main guy? Yep. Yeah, I have a Chip at home, dude, like really? full size Chip. It's, I had those. I had that big yeah. one too. Yeah, I had. I had. I the, didn't like the alien whatever dudes. The army dudes were my man. Like, oh, what were they called? They weren't really aliens. They were like, it's like Middle Earth creatures. Agar, Arga, Argon, yeah, yeah Ar- something like that. Argyle, Argus. Uh, I don't right. remember. I gotta look this up now. Kirsten Dunst is in that. Young Kirsten is Dunst. Is she really? Yeah. I haven't seen the movie in a long time. Oh yeah, that was one of her first roles. That and uh, another Robin Williams. Oh um, yeah, I had, Jumanji. One hundred percent had that. Yeah. Yep. That's I when had I had that. One hundred percent. Yep. Um, that was such a good movie. But Let's see. Oh my god, these go for hundreds of dollars. The chip, like the full size chip. All of them in the box, yeah. Oh, I don't have the box. Yeah. Dang. Hang on. He's in good there. condition. He's just chilling at home. I need to get him back when I go home next. Let me see. I'm very curious about this. Chip Hazard was Tommy Lee Jones. Oh yeah. Now that you say that, I can hear that. I never knew that. <laughs> That's so crazy. How did they get Tommy Lee Jones to be some oh, deranged no. army toy? Uh Archer was his name, Archer. and it was Frank Lingella, whoever the hell yes. that is. Archer. Yeah, I had he always spoke so now. like slow. He's like, "You I must br- 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 take us to the the toy store." Yeah, that Slam Fist. Oh my God, <laughs> this is nostalgic. Slam Fist was like Tasmanian me. Devil, but like, oh, I remember dude, those? It was wild. I need I need to watch Brick Bazooka. I remember him. Yep. God, this is so. I weird had all of me. those toys. I did too, man. I had all the Space Jam toys. I had, a few I had Space the Jam Flintstones toys. toys. I had yeah. the Lion King toys. Yeah. Dude, I don't. We were broke for a hot minute growing up. How the hell did we afford all this stuff? Um, all right, where are we is, at? Is Lion King Matthew Broderick's best movie? It's got to be. I think so, too. But that was my number three. All right, three. I'm going to power three. through these real quick because I have two left. My number two is Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Fantastic film. Can't argue with that. Should have uh, been on my list. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a perfect Disney film. That's um, Nicole's favorite movie. And then my, uh, there's no shame in that. My yeah. number one is Sleeping Beauty. Fuck okay. you, Evan. It's, a, it's my number five. How come it's on? How can you great. say that? How can you say that? My number three, Three Caballeros. I had that on VHS. <laughs> Watch that. Every day as a kid. I love Three Caballeros. I watch it once a month on Disney+. Plus. I ride the ride almost every time I go to Epcot just because I love the three freaking Caballeros. I get it. Tom, I think you would agree. Three I don't think Caballeros. you would agree the movie's good. Oh, the movie's great. It's also not technically an animated film, but fine. See, that's what I was going to ask you. Because it's actually now technically an animated film. They consider it their animated film. There films. is, but yeah. Um, that's that reminds me. I was gonna ask you. It's not on your list now, but so Roger Rabbit doesn't count. No. It's okay, not that's what I was film. wondering if you're gonna put it. It's in. a hybrid. Okay. It's also not a Walt Disney animated film. It was done you're right. by. It was done by Amblin, Touchstone. Right? Touchstone. Touchstone. Okay. You're right. And Amblin Three Caballeros. Was the producer, the distributor was Touchstone. You're right. Three Caballeros is Remix? mostly animated. Touchstone. Some shit. Yeah. Right, there is live action in Three Caballeros. Which number two? That was two. My number one is the 1953 classic, Peter Pan. I was almost my list. I too. love Captain Hook to this day. Like Captain Hook, him and Maleficent are my two favorite villains of all Disney time. So Captain Hook makes me love that movie. Yeah, ha- Hans love- Conrad, man, he's just great as Captain Hook. The the VHS of that movie is what got me into Disney history. I've talked about it on yeah. the show before. Like the, the end of the the, the of movie, the, they had like a behind it was like the scenes the treasure thing. collection. It was like yeah. forty years or something. Yeah, had like I, a, that's exactly Leonard when I Malton had. hosted it. Yeah, exactly when I had. And I watched that. They like talk about. Like I watched one, that more than I watched the movie. I think I might have too. Yeah, but I like they talk about one deleted scene where it was like in Skull Rock or something. Yeah, like, uh-huh. this is what we. And cut. they show the story, like not storyboards, like sketches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it was storyboards. I had to go back. And it might have been it. both, but yeah, I, I, was I like, loved it. That was what got me into like a lot of Disney history. I'm like, they have the deleted like, wait, scenes. Wait, Walt's a person? Like, <laughs> yeah, that might have been one of the few things that did that to me. I know I knew it before that because I did a re- book report on Walt Disney once, and I had like a, nice. a, a, a not a book report. Is that like how like Walt did when on Abe Lincoln? Third grade, yeah, yeah. It was like it's second funny. or third grade. Something. Like Walt had a figure that was Abe, but for all of us, Walt is our Abe. Yeah, like that's it's wild. Yeah, it's wild. I don't know if he ever thought about that. I'd love to know. He wasn't like a precious kind of like everything I do is important kind of guy. He yeah. didn't give a fuck. I mean, like no. It was like right before he passed away. They hit, like Dave Smith had to convince him, like, "Hey, man, we need to archive this shit. It's just this is the history. It's important." And he's yeah. like, "Just toss it out." And they're like, "No, we can't just toss That's out." That's the opposite these. of me, man. Yeah. 
yeah. Oh no, I'm I'm like Walt. Fuck it, right? Nah. Like I've don't I don't think I have any of our original recordings from any of the podcasts. I delete all of them. Wow. Like I upload them. And They're up like, there though. That's different. If I They're want out them, there. If yeah. I want them, I can download them. That's again. different. But you like didn't I don't keep them. any of the pre-edited. Like I don't. Yeah. No, I don't I, do that. I am not comparing myself to Walt Disney. No, nor, but on nor a this smaller podcast, scale. Nor this podcast to <laughs> Walt Disney, Disney Productions and Studios. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like I'm the kind of guy that throws shit out. Like get it the fuck out of here. I don't care. Man. Uh, what's number one? That was Peter Pan. Oh, Peter one. Pan's number one. Yeah. Sorry, Bobby bad. Driscoll again too, man. Rest like. in peace to the the heroin <laughs> goat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun, man. Yeah, I love really talking. I like talking to Disney sometimes, especially when there's not a lot of Star Wars news. Yeah, I mean, yeah. we do live in Orlando, so it's kind of close to home, technically. Per like, literally, it's yeah, man, it's, it's close to home. So, um, that was fun, man. That was good to do. I like doing that. I love talking to Disney so. from time to time. It's yeah, good to break it, it up. So it's hard to yeah. do a podcast like this because, like, sometimes you get worn out talking about Star Wars. Sometimes you get worn out about talking about Disney. I got really burned out talking. about I didn't talk about Disney on the podcast for years. Yeah, might we, have been we, at least two years. We bring up like Galaxy's Edge stuff, but, but like, that's different. Uh, different than yeah, that's like conjunction to Disney. Like yeah, ad- adjacent. Cool man, that was fun. Uh, it lasted longer than I thought. That was an hour. Can you believe that was an hour? Well, we had a big tangent in there about that's Hamilton, so oh, that's fair. You want to do another thirty minutes on Hamilton? You can. I could do it. In a heartbeat. The floor is yours. Do I want to do it? No, because <laughs> no. I don't want to give any more attention to that shit show. <laughs> um, all right, it's everyone. coming to Doctor Phillips in a couple months. If you want to go see it, I can't wait to not go to that. <laughs> I'll flip it off as I drive by. Beat the shit out of Lin Manuel Miranda. Sadly, he's not coming. <laughs> no, sadly, he's not. Thank God to everyone's <laughs> ears who are there. He's not coming. Uh. All right, thank you guys for listening to this episode. I'm not going to really beat the shit out of it. That was a joke. I'm not going <laughs> to assault Lin Manuel Miranda because I don't like his show. It's I retarded. hate the fact that you have to say that. Though. I know it's stupid. Like, it should like, be obvious. I'm joking. I'm not going to. Uh, yeah, like, but that's on, the world man. we live in. You have to it's say ridiculous. like, I'm joking. I don't mean that. I don't, I'm not going to physically be <laughs> the guy that wrote Hamilton. Jesus <laughs> Christ! Uh, all right, guys, thank you so much for listening to this. We'll see you on the next episode on Monday. Until then, stay safe. May the force be with you. That was bad. I didn't even plan on doing it until I, I started talking. I got no Disney impressions for that. If Austin was here, he'd do a Patrick Warburton. Patrick like, Warburton. Always. And always. good journey. Make sure you take those little ones off there. Nice work, pal. Nice work, pal. Hey, there you go. Hey, there it is. <laughs> That's your old pal, Goofy. Right here. Say, rise, Lester's possum. Rise, Jedi Knight. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's stupid. All right, we'll see you guys in the next it. episode. Till then, stay safe. May the Force be with you. Always again. Good journey again. Rise, Jedi Knight. <laughs>